This is an advanced video on how to bring data into the asset database, particularly if you are, want to bring CMDB data into Curator's asset database. As you know, the asset database gets automatically populated by monitoring logs and flows and things get put in there. But also, you can bring things in by simply going into the GUI and adding an asset here, add an asset, or you can import assets uh, from the from a CSV file, there's an option here uh, to do that. We go here, asset, import asset. Uh, there's also a way that PFH showed me that I may not may or may not do a video in which if you send a particularly formatted leaf message, syslog message into Curator, you can uh, automatically create an an asset. There is also, of course, the RESTful API. If we go here into the API, we can see that in here you can also add assets. You can do a post and add an asset. And every method has advantages and disadvantages. So I would say limitations here and there, right? Uh, the other me methods are manual. These are uh, you can do programmatically with the REST API, but there's another option that is actually very interesting, and that has to do with the a particular scanner called the Axis scanner. So we're going to go here, and if when you select, this is a scanner I never used uh, before, Axis scanner. This is something defined by Curator. How we're going to be showing you how to use this and PFH created some tools that I'm sharing in the PFH directory links is in the video description of all my videos uh, I'm gonna be posting a file I'm going to a Linux box here which which we are gonna be uh, doing the manipulation of the files this file in here Axis CV tar.gz is one that Peter created. And why what that Axis uh, scanner is important is that it gives you the ability of bringing vulnerability data into what goes into the asset database. And it will be automatically. So you're going to be specifying just the CV number and then the tool will pick up from MITRE the inf all the information about that CV and will bring it into the asset database. It's actually something pretty cool. Uh, so in order to do a CMDB job of bringing that data into Curator, you may need to use this to start. Uh, you will modify uh, accordingly to your uh, necessities and uh, you may need to complement it maybe by adding some more fields via the RESTful API. I don't know exactly what you want to do. But let's actually get started by unzipping uh, this or decompressing this file to see what's in there. If we decompress that file, it creates an axis directory. If we go there and do it three, we see that has two scripts, MK axis, and you can modify them in here. And there's one, and that creates a single vulnerability or a single asset with a vulnerability specified and populate. Uh, it will do the same with a multitude of items instead of just one at a time. Pickup is the directory where the modified, the, the, the updated file will be created. And the updated file is this template.xml. Let's actually cut that. And here you see some properties of the scanner. And this is not, uh, doesn't have any data because the make axis will fill those uh, will, will will create uh, some of those fields for you and so will the populate or eight and it will put that data into that pickup directory so let's actually and this is hard coded for a particular c that ranges 192.168.55.0/24 that class c uh, uh, address but you can edit this and modify it according to your need so let's actually run that MK axis and we're going to say well I want you to create an IP an asset and you just need to put the last 
part of the Cedar Ranger. And that's going to be uh, 99. And then we're going to specify that we want to do that by adding also a vulnerability to the asset. And it's going to be 20, 20. And with populate, you can put more than one vulnerability, of course. 1472. I'm going to put an initial risk of 8. But this is going to be superseded when it makes the the call into MITRE for that. And now if we go to the pickup directory, we have that file that has been populated with that IP address and that initial risk. Okay? Now, we're gonna, what we're going to be doing next is going into Curator and define an access scanner that is going to go into this directory of this machine and it's going to get that and import it into the uh, asset database. Let's do that. Under the admin tab we go to VA scanners and we're going to add one axis scanner. So we go here and say it is that and the scanner name we're going to call it axis test. You put a description here that is meaningful the remote host name, that unique box with this is going to be retrieved, is, uh, that is the IP address. I'm doing this on the root. Uh, you should never do this. You should create a, a user with limited access, but for brevity, I'm, I'm making it uh, with just root. And the remote directory is when you log in in here, you're going to be under uh, slash root, and then you specify axis without any slash, and then pickup. And it's going to pick up the file that is uh, in there. The Cedar Rangers are 192.168.55.0/24. You may want to reduce those number of days, but I'm going to just. Just as a test, I'm going to be doing that. Oop, I didn't click Add here. I need to click Add and then Save. Okay, so that piece is actually done. Now we want to go into Schedule BA Scanners and tell it go and get a schedule uh, a session to go and get that. Uh, Axis test. And here's the definition. We put all the port ranges. And you may want to, you know, put a few minutes ahead in order to make sure that you don't miss the, the actual running of the, the time frame for running the scan. So here it completed. If we look at the details, yeah, it imported one file with one host and one vulnerability. Let's go back to the asset database. So if we look for that IP address, 192.168.55.99, we should find it in here and notice that has one vulnerability and the beauty is that all the data for that vulnerability it's actually being picked up from the MITRE database. So, again, this is a, the way that the AXIS scanner works. If you are working, if you want to bring data from a CMDB into Curator, this might be a set of tools that can prove useful to you.